Mula, Malale, Talopa, and welcome to Season 5, Episode 78 of Breakfast Bites by TableforSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports News on another bright, sunny and warm Wednesday morning, 21 June 2023. Coming to you with tons of anisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In rugby, thankfully for Stone Cold Broke, PG Rugby Union, World Rugby pays for flights, accommodation, food, and transport. For 10 staff and 30 players for Team Fijiana to play in the World Rugby XXXV Tier 3 competition in October in Dubai, where Team Fijiana will be up against Ireland, Kazakhstan, Kenya, and the last two teams from the winner of Brazil versus Colombia, who play off on 15 July, and Spain versus Italy, who play off 22 July. In Rugby League, Cowboys star Jeremiah Nanai is back for the Maroons after missing the Origin Series opener due to suspension, while Titans big man Moakai, Moaki Futua Ika will make his uh, first appearance since 2021. Ben Hunt will also start at hooker for the Blues with Harry Grant coming off the bench. For the Blues brothers... Josh Adoka and Brian Tu'u may switch wings, playing on the opposite sides to Origin 1. So Tu'u on the right wing, while Adoka will partner Stefan Crichton on the left. We tip the Maroons to kill it at Suncorp tonight. On Sportsbiz, in Sportsbiz, just over a year out from the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympics 2024, and police from the Anti-Corruption and Financial Crime Investigations Unit raided the headquarters of the organizing committee and the officers of the uh, organization in charge of the Olympic construction sites yesterday, a source close to the investigation told AFP. The reason for the raid was not immediately clear. In boxing, while Tim Tizu was being congratulated by his Aussie fans immediately after he had just beaten Carlos Ocampo to a pulp on the Gold Coast last Saturday, last Sunday, Tizu's mum, Natalia, entered Ocampo's changing room to console him. Ocampo was emotional as Natalia embraced him, offering her commiserations and putting her hand on his face. What can we say? But that's a mother's love right there. And finally, in football, an international football friendly between New Zealand and Qatar was abandoned in Austria on Monday after the Kiwis claimed one of their players, Michael Boxall, was racially abused by an opponent. New Zealand did not return for the second half of the match after the incident that occurred shortly before the break, with them leading 1-0. A Qatar coach said New Zealand's captain came over at halftime to inform him that they would not be resuming the game. The facts are, apparently, two players on the pitch exchanged words. The New Zealand players decided to support their teammate. All our team decided to do was support our player. The Qatari coach said, come on, girls, grow up here. TaveOverSports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, vina'a, and thank you all too much for all your love and support.